Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be having a look at how you can install the Emergency Lighting System 5 by LTK. So if you haven't checked out my video showcasing all the features of ELS, you should check that out. A link to that is going to be in the top right right now in the form of a card. And this video is also going to be part of a playlist called Learn GTA 5 Modding Elbows Way. So if you haven't checked out that playlist, a link should be in the description and should also be in the top right right now as well. So this video is going to be a preparation for installing ELS vehicles. So today we are just going to install the ELS script. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to go over to the ELS download page and we can select the download this file button. You're going to make sure to select the latest version that is going to be there. As of right now, that is going to be 1.05. For you, it might be a higher number. So make sure you select the latest version and select the download button. And then we're going to complete the security check and select download. Now, ELS5 is a script hook script. So we are going to be saving uh, ELS inside our download slash GTA5 mods slash script hook folder. And we're going to press save. And we're just going to wait for that to download, it should be pretty quick. And then we're going to be extracting this file into the folder. And once that is done, we have three folders. One is documentation, one is installation files, and one is media. So the one we are going to be having a look at first is the documentation. As you can see here, we have the user guide for ELS. We also have the default controls and the extra part map. So we are only really interested in the user guide which pretty much explains every single feature there is in ELS uh, really in-depthly. You can have a read through this to see what exactly you can do with ELS if you need to. And a very important one if you're just starting out is going to be the default controls.pdf. Over here you can see all the default controls for the keyboard and also for the controller. So make sure to check this out. I recommend having this on a screen next to you while playing because otherwise it's going to be quite tough to remember all the keys if you're just starting out. Also, if you would like to change any of the keys in the INI, at the bottom of this file, uh, there is going to be a chart with uh, all the key IDs. So you're going to need the key ID 66, for example, to have something use the B key on your keyboard, which we'll get into a little bit later. So right now we're going to go back into the ELS download and we're going to go over to installation files and we get a Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. We're going to go into here and what, once we are in here, we're going to select Ctrl A on our keyboard to select every single file. We are going to press Ctrl C or select copy and then we are going to go over into our Grand Theft Auto 5 folder and we are going to hit Ctrl V on the keyboard or we can select paste and make sure to replace all the files if you are asked. I wasn't asked but if you are asked make sure to select replace and merge all files. So you can see now we have ELS.ASI, the .ini and we have the ELS folder and that is all going to be perfect. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to be opening ELS.ini and once this is opened you can see we can select quite a lot of options here. Uh, the ones we are mainly interested in are the control options. Uh, here is where you can change all the function uh, key combinations um, which we saw earlier in the default controls file. So if you would like to change for example the toggle LSTG to another key you need to look up the uh, ID for the key in the default controls.pdf uh, from the ELS download and enter that over here. So once you've done that, you are pretty much good to go. Make sure to save the file and you can go back into your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Now a quick little bit of explanation here. Uh, if you do install an ELS vehicle, that ELS vehicle will most likely come with a ELS config file called a VCF. So those VCFs need to be saved over inside the ELS pack default folder. And as you can see, there is already one here by default. Uh, this one is called police. So the name of the file should match the model name of the vehicle you are installing. For example, if you are installing a vehicle inside your police three slot and it is ELS, you need to have a file inside this folder called police3.xml and a VCF file pretty much looks like this. Again, a full documentation for this can be found inside the ELS uh, documentation. As a user, you typically don't really need to touch this. Uh, this is all really done by the vehicle creator. All you need to do is you need to make sure that it is contained inside this folder, matching the vehicle slot uh, as the file name. 
So because I currently don't have any custom vehicles installed and I don't have an ELS vehicle installed inside my police slot, I'm just going to be deleting this file because I don't want ELS to take over my police slot when I'm in game as that is not currently an ELS vehicle. Again, we are going to be going over how to install ELS vehicles in future videos inside the Learn GTA 5 Morning Albo's Way playlist if you are interested in that. Now, once you've done that, you can just run GTA 5 using rageplugin.exe. So we are just going to do that and we are just going to go over a few settings inside the GTA settings that you need to make sure are set up properly. So now that we have loaded into our game, we are going to have to change a few settings to make sure that ELS lights are sufficiently bright and that they don't look very weirdly dim. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over into the settings of our GTA. I'm going to go down to graphics. And then we are going to go into this menu and we are going to scroll all the way down to here. And what we are going to have to do is we you need to make sure that your post effects is set not to normal but to high or any higher settings. So it's either high, very high or ultra. I've got mine on ultra so set it to whatever your graphics card allows. Make sure you've done that otherwise your police lights on ELS vehicles are going to look dim. You don't want that to happen. Now if that doesn't help in brightening up your ELS lights, you're going to want to do the same for particles quality. So as you can see mine is currently on very high. You're going to want to make sure that the particles quality is set to high or very high and not to normal. So set it to either high or very high. And the same applies to shader quality. Make sure to set shader quality to high or very high. And once you've done that your ELS lights will look like normal and they shouldn't be dim um, when you're driving around or getting out of your vehicle. And with that being said everybody, thank you all very much for watching. I do really hope the video helped you out. If it did, make sure to hit the like button, it really helps me out. And if you'd like to stay up to date with my future content, please consider subscribing to the channel as well. And if you haven't checked out the GTA 5 Morning Albers Way playlist, make sure to check that out, link should be on screen. As well as a video showcasing all of the ELS features in-depthly while you're actually in-game with an ELS vehicle. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.